We're going to dig mudfish today, and this is what we're looking for, is a small hole. That's where he's breathing. <laughs> he's, he's after us. How, how do I know how big he is? I see him. He's right there. Ah! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Big 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 He's talking. Look at him. Yes. And he's in a cocoon. Look at this, Mr. Dresser. It's a cocoon. Yeah, remove him. Crack him open. He's in, he's in a cocoon. Look at this. Hey, a very good one. Are you interested in space travel? This odd creature, called the African lungfish, could be the key. So, how can lungfish help humans with space travel? What this fish does might help scientists develop a way to put humans into suspended animation. The African lungfish can live on land for five years while it hibernates. Yeah, it's really a fish. While it hibernates, the African lungfish can survive with zero food and water. The fish wakes up when fresh water becomes available. So when resources run out, this fish can simply sleep. The lungfish is an omnivorous fish with a special talent. It can breathe in the water and out of it. The lungfish behaves like any other fish while it's in water, but when the waters of its habitat evaporate during the dry season, its respiratory system can take oxygen straight from the air, just like we do. To ride out the drought, the lungfish then burrows into the mud and secretes a mucus out of its skin. This mucus hardens into a protective cocoon around the fish. While hibernating in the mud, the lungfish slows its metabolism and lives off the muscle tissues in its tail. When the water returns, the lungfish wriggles out of the mud and swims in the water. Studying a creature that can hibernate for years without food or water could be a huge help for scientists researching how to put people into suspended animation. But wait, why would humans want that? Well, one reason is to buy extra time during life-saving operations. Some operations take a long time. Patients are vulnerable during that time. And if their body functions can be slowed down, they can retain more blood, fluid, and strength. By putting patients into a state of suspended animation, doctors can conserve the patient's resources, potentially saving their life. The African lungfish actually slows down its biological clock while hibernating. That's how it can survive for so long without food or water. During hibernation, these fish expend very little energy. Biologists at the University of Singapore found that in this state, which is called estivation, a creature can regulate their cellular activity. Specifically, blood coagulation and iron and copper metabolism are slowed down. Researchers say these are strategies to conserve energy. Scientists are looking to the future when it comes to humans. This may be science fiction now, but if they can discover how to apply what the African lungfish does, then we can benefit in a number of ways. Besides medical procedures like operations, humans could slow down their bodies for space travel. For longer journeys into space, like a trip to Mars, we'll need to conserve our resources. Humans lose fluid volume in space, which in the worst case scenario, can lead to blood loss and heart atrophy. Being able to hibernate would help us slow down our fluid loss. Maybe down the line, people with an incurable disease could even hibernate until medical science catches up with a cure. Surviving for years without food or water, that's what lungfish do, and that's what makes them crazy creatures.